Hey, what's up, guys? G gonna be reviewing Halloween 2 this time. Of course, the real Halloween 2 from 1981. Um, this one was directed by Rick Rosenthal, who also directed the Halloween Resurrection movie, which, granted, Resurrection's not as good as this movie, but I definitely say it's better than Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, which we'll get to. But this movie is pretty good. Um, basically, what you'd want to do if you're gonna watch this movie watch it right after the first movie. I don't really see the point of having this movie if you don't have the first movie as well. Because it's kind of like, you know, it's like you're watching a missing piece if you're not watching the original with it. So, I'd recommend watching them both together. And this movie, it upped the ante. It really did. Um, so at this time, like, Halloween, or Friday the 13th was coming out, and, you know, that was sort of the big thing with Friday the 13th, that the, the kills were gruesome and gory. And, you know, the first Halloween really didn't have much much of anything. But it worked. It was a good film. But this movie kind of wanted to up that a bit. So they did. And uh, I think it worked out really well. The hospital scene, I, I enjoy the hospital scene. You know, the whole hospital environment. Um, but the kills are more gruesome. Like, you know, you got the the needle going in the head and the uh the the I think it was a hot tub or something and he bought you know bashes you know shoves the chick's face in there like six times or whatever but the heat's cranked up really high so it like boils and drowns her at the same time or something it's crazy um you know just some pretty good death scenes you've got this guy in there that's pretty funny he he uh he says something and then She's and I think it's his girlfriend or whatever, and she's like, every other word you say is is hell, shit, or damn. And then he goes, oh, I guess I just fuck up a lot. And I don't know, it's just really funny, you know. It was I, I really enjoyed that guy, and for whatever reason, that's the one thing that sticks out in my mind with this movie. I just really enjoyed it. I like the mask a lot more in this movie. I think this probably has probably my favorite mask, the Halloween Two mask. I'd say probably my favorite mask. Um, just really good mask, really, just, I don't know, it's just really good. Um, the, the intro, the, with the, you know, the, the way the intro's done, instead of on the piano, it's got, like, this synth music, like, synthesizer. Uh, I, I really like that. I think I like that a little bit more than, than the original intro, even though I like the piano. I just like, this one sounds more sinister, it sounds more Halloween, versus the other one, it sounds more like a cover of what the Halloween theme would be versus like this. This sounds like what the original would be. But really enjoyed that. Uh, the ending, you know, you have Jamie Lee Curtis shooting out Michael Myers' eyes and the blood goes down the mask. Looks really cool. You got Donald Pleasance. Of course, he... Uh, I think there's like a gas line or something that opens up and he lights it on fire and they, you know, explode into flames. Michael Myers burning at the end. Crazy. And, of course, Dr. Loomis is presumed to be dead for the most part, but you see him in the sequel, so you know he's not dead, which... It's like, how, how does he survive that, you know? It's crazy. But, overall, it's a really good movie. I'd recommend watching them both at the same time. I'd watch one after the other. I mean, if you really like this movie, uh, there's also the Scream Factory version. The version I watch is from the Blu-ray box set, but they have a special edition that you can get. And it's got a whole bunch of features. I haven't seen them all. I just watched the movie. So, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and talk about Halloween 2 real quick. Sort of end it on a quick note, because there's really not much to say. I mean, it's a good movie. Highly recommend it. Uh, especially after watching the first movie. You may or may not like it better than the original. I like it a little bit better than the original. But, you know, the original has, you know, it's it's just a good movie as well, you know. They're both good movies. Um, it's not my favorite Halloween film, and I know some people, this is their favorite, and that's cool. Um, my, my favorite one's coming up next, which is Halloween 4. And, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll go ahead and end it there. Overall, a good movie, good death scenes, funny character, a funny character. You got Donald Pleasance as Dr. Loomis doing a great job, as always. You know, he's probably one of my favorite Halloween characters. Just really good character. Really like him. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say about this movie. Um, 
thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and we'll see you for Halloween 4. Thanks for watching, and peace.